Oh, I didn't really expect to be doing this. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This video has actually been a long time coming. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram about two weeks ago, um, kind of talking about this topic and asked if anyone would be interested in me doing a video or like some more of a talk on it. Um, and the amount of response I got from it was uh, a lot more than I thought. So I've kind of put myself in a corner in the sense that I've got to do the video now because of it. But I'm quite happy because this video has been something that I've wanted to do for quite a while. Um, and I've actually tried doing it a couple of times and I've bottled it every time. So um, with everything going on in the world um, and obviously with it being Mental Health Awareness Week, I do think it's quite relevant to get it done now um, and just bite the bullet really. So... As you can tell from the title of today's video, um, I am going to be talking about mental health and um, my experiences personally with mental health um, and kind of, I'm doing this to kind of shed some light on my personal experiences and hopefully someone watching this, even if it's just one person, can kind of take something positive away from this video and um, hopefully I can help someone who's... Um, dealing with mental health issues themselves so basically um my personal experience anyways this is what i'm going to talk about goes back to end of last year now if you follow the channel or you follow the channel for about a year now you'll know i competed last year um you'll also know that i didn't finish the season last year um, and that was due to my mental health basically um at the time not a lot of people actually know this. There's very few people know this, so it's it's quite hard to be just kind of putting it across on the camera. But yeah, end of last year, um, I wasn't I wasn't in a good place at all. I'm a lot better now. I'm probably the best I've ever been now. Um, life's fucking life's good at the minute, and um, I'm very happy that I got through um, what I did last year to be able to say that now. Even though at the time it didn't feel like I would be in this position um, to be kind of making this video and saying the stuff I'm saying. But yeah, end of last year, um, I'd done the UK DFB um, Northern Qualifier. Um, and around that time, I was I was dealing with a lot of things. Um, my work life wasn't very good. Um, I'm currently not working with that company anymore. But my work life wasn't very good. Um, I was basically getting bullied at work. Um, and at 23, it sounds mad saying that, but yeah, I was getting somewhat victimised or bullied at work um, for basically being the type of person I am, which is quite different to the norm around the area where I live. You know, I don't drink, I don't go out. Um, I spend all my time in the gym. I'm very different than a lot of people and I got victimised for that. Um, as well as that, I was in a relationship that was going down the toilet and that was getting really bad. Um, and I was kind of at the end of leaving that relationship when I was making them videos, but I didn't speak about it. Um, and yeah, everything was just getting on top of us. I mean, whew, the show uh, didn't go as well as I wanted it to go, and that um, impacted my mental health. And from then on, on from then onwards, uh, I just had a downward spiral. Um, everything became negative in my head, and uh, the worst thing I ever did throughout this, throughout the whole cycle of this all happening was um i didn't talk to anyone um i kept it all to myself um i didn't tell dylan who obviously you know is me one of one of my best mates um i didn't tell any of my close friends i didn't tell my family i was suffering um work or anything like that and around that time when i made uh, the mp mpa video and i made the video saying that i wasn't doing any more shows i was actually off work um, for stress, for anxiety, um, and for basically just feeling like me life was falling apart. Um, it got pretty bad in the end. I mean, I was like talking to my doctors and stuff like that, and they were kind of giving us phone numbers to ring if it got like really bad. Um, and that's as bad as it got. I mean, I know a lot of people have took it further than that, and I'm so lucky that I I didn't have to, but yeah, I, 
I was in a bad way last year, um, and I was in a, a fucking hellish dark place in my head. And one of the worst things I did was, like I said, I didn't talk about it. Um, I was trying to mask it on here. I know a lot of people follow us on here on Instagram, and it, it is hard to kind of keep up that positive persona when in your head everything's far from positive. And um, because I was trying to make it look like everything was going well, and I was still really happy in my job, in my relationship, um, in my training, I like made it a hundred times worse than it probably was. Um, and because of that, I ended up making myself very ill. Um, my prep went to shit because of it. Um, and I, I, I held that back from me coach, Christian, which I fucking massively regret because I basically somewhat wasted his time in, in the end. I know he probably won't feel like that, but I did feel like I wasted his time in the end because Obviously, I was doing check-ins with him towards the show, and I wasn't eating properly, I wasn't training properly, I was coming off plan for my cardio and a lot of stuff, and that's why, I mean, I'll put pictures on the screen now, that's why I, I look completely different between show one and show two, where I should have looked better, I didn't, I looked worse, and it was because of everything that was going on, and I was just trying to hide it instead of admitting it. Um, and it got to the point where I'd bottled that much up and I hadn't spoke to anyone about it that I um I couldn't. I felt like I couldn't. And I've always been that part I've always been that friend in my groups. Um where I want people to come to me and talk or like I'm the strong one or like mentally. I don't I never I've never felt like I was mentally weak or that I was struggle that I'd ever struggle with mental health. And I think because I told myself that in my head I made it like nigh impossible to feel like I could talk to people because I always felt like they should come to me if they've got anything wrong. So I can't show that I was kind of the weak one, if that makes sense. I don't know if any of this is making sense, but yeah, like that's why I, I didn't speak to anyone. And in the end, it got to a point where um, I think the first person I spoke to was Dylan. And um, I just went to his to speak to him, to tell him, I was in a really bad place and uh, I couldn't do it and I drove away from his house and I drove to the gym to try and do cardio and I just broke down in my car and um, I rang him up and I said can I come back to yours and talk to you and uh, I sat in the car with him and he said what's up and I just started crying I'm not gonna lie and I've never I never wanted to kind of show that side um, to, to people who are close to us but um, it just got too much and I told him everything, I told him my prep was going to shit, that I hadn't been following my plan, that my relationship was fucking worse than he thought it was, and my job was going to shit and it was because of that downward spiral that started with the bullying at work and all that other stuff, I just, instead of thinking positive about everything, I was thinking negative and it, it just got worse and um, doing if I hadn't have done that and spoke to Dylan and uh, basically just let it all out, I haven't got a fucking clue what would have happened. Because that was that day was the worst I'd ever felt in my life. And I just felt like it was never, ever going to get better because it was so horrible and how dark it was up here. It could never, ever get better because it was that bad. And as soon as I'd spoke to Dylan, it was like, it was like I was carrying around 50 kilos on my back and he just took it off us just by talking, just by me talking to him. And it wasn't that he said anything specifically like to help us. It was just the fact that I unloaded all this shit on him. And he said, he basically had told us like, you need to speak to your dad, you need to speak to your family and let them know what's going on because you're just making yourself fucking ill by not. Um, and that night I, I did that and I done the same thing again. I just broke down in front of my dad and I told him everything and he gave us advice for work and I, I went off work at that point um, because I was getting anxiety from going in every morning. I felt sick at the thought of going into work because of it. And um, yeah, I took a lot of time off work and um, ever since doing that and speaking about it, I, uh, I got a lot better. And it wasn't until after making that video saying I wasn't doing the shows that I'd started to get myself back on track with being as positive as I normally am and happy as I normally am. And um, my advice, the whole point in this, the whole point in all this I'm saying is 
if you are struggling with me your head or your mental health or anything like that, please, whatever you do, don't hide it from people. It's a horrible, especially as a like as some of you think like as a man you shouldn't have to like or you sh you don't want to show emotion, but the worst thing I ever did was not talk. And I just want everyone to know that if you are dealing with stuff like this and you are struggling, please just speak to someone. I'm not saying you have to like message me if you don't know us, but speak to someone who you trust or someone who is there or close to you. And if you haven't got someone, message people like me who are talking about it and just unload on someone and don't feel like you're putting on people because in reality you're not. You what you're unloading on them is probably nothing compared to what they'd feel if you'd done something stupid and you weren't there anymore for example so yeah that's kind of my advice or uh, the whole point in me making this video please talk because the worst thing you can do is bottle things up and i i personally i personally uh, experienced that and i never ever thought in a million years i mean i i was one of them people that when people talk about mental health or anxiety and stuff like that I was one of them people that kind of like thought that's just made up or it's just stupid. Like I just never ever thought it would be something that affected me. Um, and now that I have experienced that, I can tell you that my life is so much fucking better. Although it was horrible at the time, I'm in such a better place now. I'm so much mentally stronger. I've got, I've like seen how much how many unbelievable people I've got around us for supporting us and like helping us through them times and although if you are going through shit like that now and it, it feels fucking horrible and you just feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel just know that there is there 100% is and at the time I just never ever thought there would be it's fucking it's like you've got it's like it's like there's a mist in front of you and you just can't fucking see and everything's just different to the way it normally is but trust us, if you unload on people and speak to people and get help and get through it, the fucking other side so much, so much better than you thought it could ever be. And that's me talking from personal experience. So yeah, I hate to make videos like this because I like positivity on the channel, but I hope me kind of making this somewhat short video talking about things like this is, I hope it's helped someone. Um... And if you aren't personally, you know, dealing with stuff like this yourself, someone who's close to you might. And if you're seeing or noticing signs, please talk to them because you never know what's going on inside someone's head. And sometimes when you're on your own and you're not talking about it, the worst place you can be is inside your own head. Because the amount of shit that you come up with and the way you twist things to make them worse for yourself is absolutely fucking horrible. And uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. So, yeah. I hate to make, like I say, shit like this, but I hope this has helped someone. I hope someone or a, co a couple of people take something positive away from this video. I am going to be trying to kind of put out um, some more videos now that the lockdown's somewhat getting lifted. So keep tuned for that. Uh, if you've got anything to say, leave it in the comments. If you don't feel like leaving it in the comments, fucking messages on Instagram or Facebook or something like that, or on YouTube, like... Um, I reply to fucking every single person that uh, messages us, so yeah, I hope this has helped. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.